Back with you on USWA Wrestling. The bad guy, Razor Ramon, has asked for some time. He says he has a special announcement here in the USWA. So let's see if we can get the, the bad guy, Razor Ramon, out here to talk about and see what, see what the young man has to say. Razor Ramon bringing a uh, trash can out and some new apparel, I see. Welcome out. I understand you have an announcement to make. You know, sometimes in life, you've got to pay a price to get to be where you want to be. And sometimes, well, yeah, the cash is worth it at the time. But after a while, that price tends to weigh a little bit heavily on your soul. So, my spirit, the free spirit of Rick Titan is going to have to dump the gimmick of Razor Ramon once and for all so I can be myself. Razor Ramon is dead. Well, there you have it, fans. It's gone. Razor Ramon is dead in the free spirit Rick Titan is now in the USWA. Okay, and he heads right to the right. What a quick and decisive move that was, Michael. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll move that out of there. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be seeing Rick Titan in the ring for the first time. Uh, that uh, obviously is a little play on the fact that he is now Rick Titan, and he is not Razor Ramon, and he will be in there against an opponent, Tiger Jackson, first time to see him lining up uh, opposite somebody in USWA. Well, we could say it was two newcomers in this match, but it's really not a newcomer. It's a new identity for Razor Ramon. And, and I got to say, I think this has been weighing on this young man's mind for quite a long time. And, You're right. And uh, perhaps this will be a whole change in career for, for I still want to call him Razor, for, for Rick Titan. And let's just see if it changes his wrestling style at all, although I highly am doubtful of that. I can tell you one thing, that this fellow Rick Titan is just as big as Razor Ramon ever was. He's a big shot of his own any name. Down on the floor on a very nice maneuver by Rick goes Tiger Jackson. He thought he had the hook on him, and he went right down and used uh, the weight of Tiger Jackson to propel him right straight through the ropes and out and down on the floor. Well, referee Rick, Bill Rush, pardon me. I was just going to say, Rick Titan in those uh, new silver and blue colors, and uh, alluding back to the name Titan, you think maybe that's a slap at anybody, Lance? I don't know. I, I was thinking of that very same thing. It's uh, probably, I think you're right. Put to the midsection as Tiger Jackson putting the boot right in the midsection of Rick Titan. Him over and down he goes. Jackson, he is uh, more of the squatty body variety. He is thick, and normally guys like that have a very low center of gravity, and they're hard to get off their feet. But I got to tell you, Rick seems to be doing a pretty good job of it, Michael. I think Rick solved that problem, and you were saying the same thing I was thinking with that low center of gravity and the fact that Rick Titan stands about 6'8", six, 6'9", six, to get down low to get the man off his feet. So he just kept whipping him in with those short clotheslines and finally wore him down and has now taken full control of the match. He's done that as he picks him back up now. Jackson whipped over into the corner. Uh-oh, Rick went in too quick. Jackson out of the way as he... Scoops him up, takes him over and down, but he can't hold him. Looks like Titan may have slipped too that time as he was going in. I think it threw his timing off and it gave Jackson the opportunity to make a move. But Rick Titan firing right back on Tiger Jackson and going right in now. Look at this. Wraps him up with like an abdominal stretch with a little twist to it. Picks him up, drops him flat on his face. Whoa! Rick Titan in his first appearance under the name Rick Titan comes through with an impressive picture over Tiger Jackson. Jackson may 
making his first appearance. Certainly had nothing to be ashamed about. He went in there against a very large guy and gave him a good go, but he just couldn't stay with it. So as he heads out of here, we're going to get up because I wanted to talk to Paul Diamond about an incident that took place last week. Some of you may not have seen that. And at the very beginning, we saw uh, Paul stepped up and, and got in a controversy with Stephen Dunn about Flash Flanagan, and it ended up with uh, 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 Paul knocking a taste right out of Flash Flanagan's mouth as he slapped him around, and I think it surprised me and a lot of other people, Paul. You know, Lance, I've been in this business for a long time, and I set goals for myself. And uh, Steve and I had plans, and here comes the snot-nosed punk that decides he needs help because his partner stood him up. And well, Stephen Don was simply stepping in, trying to help a guy who was in trouble out. Which What's going on with you? You know what? I want you to feel, I want you to know just how I feel what I'm seeing right now, okay? What it feels like to ride up and down the roads together to make plans together and to be set aside on the back burner for some snot-nosed punk that couldn't shine my boots. That's what's going on. I think, Stephen, what everybody is wanting, and I think what Paul is saying here, is there something basic that you don't want to wrestle with him? Let's there's try nothing to basic explain. going on. The kid needed some help. I did the same thing you or Lance or anybody else would have done. I stepped That's in. fine. You helped him out one time. But now we had plans to go for those titles. You're still involved in that. And you know what? I'm not going to sit here and wait for you to decide when it's time for you to tag with me. In fact, what I'm seeing right now, you don't even want to know. In fact, today I'd like to prove something to you. How I feel when I see you and Flash Flanagan standing in the ring. I see a boy and a man trying to do a job. And in fact, you know what? If I can have James Beard out here today, I've got a partner, and I'm going to show you what two men can do instead of having a boy and a man trying to do a job. Oh, well, you don't want to do that. Yes, I do want to do that, Steve. Oh, hold it just a second, guy. Here's James Beard. Last week, we introduced him. He is the matchmaker now of the USWA. James, and it looks like you got a, a duty after the suspension of Travis. You've got another one to take care of. Well, here. you know, I like to see problems settled in the ring. That's what I like to see. That sounds good to me. You know what, Mr. Beard? This is the way it is. I've got a partner right here today. I don't want to wait till next week. Here. I want it done today, and I want to prove to Stephen Dunn that your little boy, your little punk, couldn't shine my boots, and the two men can do a better job than a man and a punk. Now, wait a minute. You have, you have someone here today. Yes, I do have a partner here on, today. Steve, Steve, oh, we can work this thing out, man. No, no, no. I want to do this. I want to prove a point. And you can stand back. I'll leave you in the rearview mirror, leave you in the dust, while me and my new partner wear the gold around our way. Steve, yes, Steve. I can't force you to do it. If you want this match, we'll have a match. Hey, if you feel like you've got something you've got to prove, I don't back down from anybody, anywhere, anytime. You want to take it in the ring, we can take it in the ring. That's what, that's what it's just going to make you feel. Not right now. No, no, we'll, do we we'll, we'll do this later on. We'll do this later on. There will be a match. I'm sick and tired of this coming out of you running your mouth. You got a problem with me? We're not watching any of the show. No, no. Hey, come on now. No. He's already said there's going to be a match, but not right now. You're going to have to wait. We've got to. No. No. We're going to take time out. We'll be back. we got more action coming up. No question about that. We'll be back with more action right after this. 